What are you doing today, Connor? Oh, I got a 360 for my duster. Ooh. Yeah. That's so, like, uh, let's see, that's like 42 more than your 318. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a little budget build and actually try and make some power. So I'd like to get it in the 400 range without, uh, you know, doing like a the stroker kit that's going to cost 1600 bucks right off the bat or anything like that. So we're going to keep it a 360 and we're going to buy new pistons and we're not going to change anything that doesn't need to be changed. And we're going to try and get 400 for less than two grand. Huh. Which might not be possible without aluminum heads. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. And we'll bake the engine. My goal is to put pistons in so that when the time comes, I can put aluminum heads on and jump it up a whole other level. Yeah. So that's the goal. That seems like an attainable goal to me. Uh, yeah. Looks like the oil in here, it was drained when you got it, and it, it looks kind of cl like clean oil. I, I don't see any, I don't see anything. We're always suspicious about motors, because yeah. the thing is. <laughs> there's, no, uh, well, there's no shiny flakes. Yeah. You know, if I do that, there's nothing. So it's looking promising. I got it off a friend who said it ran good. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I pull the heads off, and I still see some a little bit of crosshatch in the bores, you know. So the goal is to not send it to the machine shop. I'm mm -hmm. gonna pull some caps. We're gonna inspect them, make sure they're decent. Uh, check and see what the ridge is on the cylinder walls, and if it's good, we're just gonna give it a hone to surface it and buy some higher compression pistons and put it together with new rings. Awesome. Yeah. A little bit of cleaning up to do. It's, it's supposedly out of an 81 Dodge pickup truck, uh, four-wheel drive. It was a stick, too. It had a clutch. So probably the thrush bearings beat, but who knows? Maybe not. Yeah. Don't know until we dig into it. It's not. Okay. Budget is going up already. Why is that? Uh, we got copper. So that's a bad bearing shell. Oh, you'll never catch me, copper. <laughs> <laughs> so we're changing these out. Yeah, so we got some wear. Yep. But if that crank looks okay and the mic's up okay, maybe it's standard bearings right back and we don't have to get that machine. Exactly. So maybe we're still we going to avoid the still. machine shop. Yeah, if we can. But need bearings. Okay. We need bearings. Main I pulled. I pulled the middle one because it's got the thrust thrust bearing part of it too. Part it's of the shell. bad, does it? That looks good. No copper in this, no copper there. This, these look that pretty looks good. That great, yeah. It's got a little bit of a line through it, like junk went through there. In fact, you can see the junk where it landed. Oh, uh, yeah, where it stopped. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm going to pull the rest of the mains, see if they're still good. Okay. So, Connor, what you find now? Well, the mains all look good, yeah, right? the mains all look good. So I'm pretty, yeah. And they all looked about the same. So they, they look pretty good. And here's the timing set, and that is just whooped. <laughs> just completely whooped. Well, I've seen them worse. So, so yeah, the goal is still, uh, we're gonna change the rod bearings because they have copper showing. We're gonna check the cylinder bores, make sure it doesn't need to be punched out, and order up some higher compression pistons and put a different cam in and maybe do a little bit of head work. Ooh, a little one. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot At least clean them up. Yeah. Yep, just take those unnecessary burrs and sharp edges out. Yeah. You know? We'll see what we get. You know what they say, pouring them too much is bad, actually. Well, I don't know a whole lot about it, and I don't want to do it wrong, so. No, so they just crazy. do a little. Yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty low miles motor. How much should it catch? Or, you know, you know what, what was uh, supposed to be, contri that, uh, you can't catch your nail on it. That's not bad. Yeah, I can feel it, so and, we can uh, clean that up. Let me get a light in there. I think you can still see just a, a little bit of hatch, old hatch. Yep. I don't know about that. Well, what are you seeing? No, it's polished. It's oh, polished just a little bit there. I see some hatch right there. They're pretty. I mean, there's no. no, no that must have been a real deep one. Oh yeah, you can see it still. Well, you know, what things check it out. Up and that, you might be able to see that, right? Yeah. You see that? I do. Letting them warm up a little bit and yeah. running them at, at the probably had a 190 thermostat being it was in a truck. And I, I read, what was it? The Mopar book, a re, that rebuild book tells you if, you know, it causes more 
Running cold causes more cylinder wear. Yes. So it must have, you know, I don't know. Because this looks, this to me looks like 70,000 mile wear. This looks to That's me like 30. Wow. And these old motors, now this, the newer motors that are nickel-silled or something, you pull them apart at 150,000 with no ridge. It's supposed to have 70,000 miles on it, supposedly. Yeah. Which, yeah. that kind of looks like 70,000 to me. I think that's probably think pretty accurate. Shape. I think we're going to be able to, I think we're going to avoid the machine shop still. Okay, so keep trying to cheat the machinist, huh? That's the goal. <laughs> okay. That really is the goal. And it just adds so much complication. It does. I know it does. I know. You know it's going to go most, sit there forever. Most people who want to build something like this. And I mean, we like our machine shop. Don't get us wrong, but it, it does mean things are going to sit there and it's. Yep. It, and it's another bill to pay. It's another bill to pay. So this is a real budget. We're going to try and make 400 horse. Now these realistically. are flat, flat top pistons in a truck. They were probably. Uh, did, you, did you find out what the ratio is supposed yeah, to be? Yeah, stock it's 8.7 to 1. Yeah, I, that's. So, I think I guessed 8.5 yesterday, didn't I? So it's. My <gasps> goal is. It's better than I thought. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a real thumper. My goal is to really get to uh, like a 10 to 1. Really? You know? mm -hmm. I still want to be able to run pump gas. So maybe just a touch lower, but that's the goal, which and still make some good power. Uh huh. But you know, I really don't want to buy more than. We're also thinking about upgrading aluminum heads eventually. Eventually, so I'm building it for that, but not not right off the bat. Not I want to I want to put a thousand dollars into this and be able to drop it in my car and drive it all summer long and have some fun. So that's the goal. It's not gonna, I'll probably never go to a track or anything. It'd be the type of thing you cruise across town a couple times a week and you know, people yeah. look at it. But the bottom line is you gotta be able to do a burnout. Or a <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta get over the 300 mark to go doing that. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you know? it's just kind of lame. Otherwise. <laughs> what you do man, borrow your mom's car? <laughs> yeah, it's all a show and no go. Of course, mom doesn't drive a 1970. Dodge. Okay, so um, 8.7, you're gonna bump it up to, you're thinking 10, yep. maybe a little lower. Yeah, but 9.5 you know, to 10. You could you could so. cheat it up a little if you plan on putting aluminum heads on. Aluminum heads will won't pre ignite the, before, yeah. you know. You, so. Plus, you know, tuning up, the, tuning up these heads to take away any sharp points is gonna help. Yes. Polish, polish, polish the heads, yeah. And when I get my new pistons doing the same thing, just taking away some of the machine marks. Yeah, anything that, that's... That caused trouble. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah anything that could be a see, hot spot. These suckers go, you know, they're they're deep in the hole. That one's all the way up? No, it comes up a little bit more. I mean, we saw a little bit of remaining crosshatch. Well, you want to take it all apart before you go ordering the pistons and stuff. Make sure, sure there's not one that's gouged. You got to bore the whole thing out. Make sure it's good block. But of course, oh, you can always just bore one. It really is nice. <laughs> I need seven standards and one thirty over. Piston. We're not that cheap. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, we're being cheap, <laughs> but we're not being that cheap. Not be well, you well, you look online, you see a lot of, you see the budget builds. They're all titled budget builds. So either it's a budget build where. Their budget is like four grand. Yeah, or more. And just parts. And, uh, or it's a budget build where they're not gonna change the stock pistons. And you're just not gonna make muscle car horsepower that way. No, you, no. You know, so yeah. that's the goal. We're gonna make some muscle car horsepower. And you yeah. gotta change pistons. You gotta bump the compression ratio. Yeah. That's what made the muscle car yep. engines. You'd be driving around on aircraft fuel. Yep. 106 octane or something. What'd you say? Uh, well, here I've got this at top dead center. That's See how sunk in that is? That's the we got a lot of space there for no compression. Yes, and, and, and these these pistons are up a little. I don't know, I can't even grip yet. There's a little bit of ridge there, but not much. Well, this came out of a truck with 70,000 miles on it. Uh huh. So we know the, the rod bearings are already showing copper, but it was a stick truck, and somebody didn't. They whipped it up a lot, probably. Yeah, somebody heard it a little bit. But if you look in certain spots, you there is still crosshatch showing. Okay. So it hasn't worn down the cylinder walls much. The ridge is, you know, barely catchable. Yeah, you can't catch it. So I'm gonna buy the standard. I do board. have a ridge reamer too, by the way. Well, I'm not. Gonna, I don't think we need it. But I'm gonna buy the the standard bore pistons. Mm-hmm. 
and we're gonna bump the compression ratio up and we're you know hey, shooting like 400 horse those pistons come with rings you file you got to fit oh uh, yeah file fit rings okay yeah so you're gonna have a little bit of you're gonna have a little bit of a worn bore yep so which, i'm gonna i'm gonna hone it I'm gonna give it some new cross hatch. Uh huh. And just so the rings seat gonna back be good. in. Yeah, just so they seat back in and it's got something for the oil to grip to. And so these motors that go all day long, you'd get you get 150, it's 150,000 miles out. Of it. Yeah. So I with mean, that bore, the standard new standard pistons. Yeah, they ain't wore out. Look at it. I'm aiming to get another 100,000 out of it. Yeah, but you'll never drive it. I'll that never much. drive it that much. No, you won't. No, but that's, that's the sad truth of it. Because in a car that you drive on weekends in the summer. Yes, exactly. So what do you get? You get 3,000 miles a year on it? Yeah, if, if, I, that. if I drive a lot. <laughs> so 20, 20 it's gonna years be, be, It's gonna be great for what I'm doing with it, you know? So you're, so, gonna, you're gonna ditch that cam and lifters, right? You're gonna ditch the cam and lifters. So I gotta buy, I gotta buy a higher performance cam and lifter set. I gotta get a, a a better timing chain, timing set. Oh, I just get the one with the steel sprockets, right? You yeah, steel real... sprockets, double chain. Yep. Yep. And I gotta buy a piston set, piston uh -huh. set and rings. <coughs> and then um, I'm just gonna buy the, the connecting rod bearings. I'm not gonna buy main bearings, it doesn't need them. Okay. You know, and I'm not gonna buy, 99% sure I'm not gonna do any cam bearings. No. Yeah. And I'll save a hundred bucks. Well, once you pull a cam out, you shine a light in there and take a look, see what they look like. Yeah. And so far, we're avoiding the machine shop. Yeah. So that's the goal. Okay, I'm gonna tear it down some more. All right, I'll be back. Yep.